Martin Scorsese um, made a banger that not a whole lot of people are talking about, sadly. This one is Hugo. And it, it's just so... It just reminds me a, a lot of, like, E.T. in a way. It's like child, childlike wonder. It's like, it has a sense of childlike wonderness. It just, like, astounded me so much. I just, it was so enjoyable. I just think, uh, oh, shoot, hold on a second. I'll show you my little letterboxed review of it here soon. But I do want to say that the performance, like the young, the performances from like the young, from like Hugo and Isabel are just so terrific. It's just like, that's some like amazing child acting. And I really got to give Aza Butterfield and Chloe Grace Mortez credit for that they just did so they did so well with their roles it's, it's, it's just amazing Ben Kingsley was also great in the role um, um hold on, I'll show you one of my letterbox reviews I put was I never knew Sasha Baron Cohen could make me feel uncomfortable and terrified it's just like yeah but uh, of, of the entire cast the one the one that surprised me the most was Christopher Lee I was just like wait what <laughs> I was just I, I, I was just completely surprised like I had no idea he was in this movie and he did and he much like the rest of the cast did such a great job I also just like I said in the three color when I reviewed the three colors trilogy, um, I love the Paris setting so much. I just and I especially love with like this one. Man, man, France just looks so beautiful. Uh, I just lo also love the interior of like the clock towers. Like, you get a really great sense of how these clocks run, and just, like, the sound effects with the mechanics are just also top-notch. Um, oh, and I also forgot to mention the cast. Uh, we obviously got a Martin Scorsese cameo on this, just like in uh, movies like Taxi Driver and Gangs of New York. Now, the one thing that I had knowledge of before seeing you go was the film recreating the Montep the the Montparnasse train incident um they I watched some of the behind the scenes videos and I just love that they I just love how they made like small scale versions and like the details that they were getting was just so great and like the take they did of just like having it fall to the ground, it's another great example of how practical effects will continue to be timeless forever. It's also the inspiration, or as us Thomas fans know, this was also the inspiration for Better View for Gordon. Now, the story of Hugo is just also like another fascinating it's just like the arcs that these characters have are so great and and how movies are like magic like magicians just got me so excited like I just started to feel so warm inside because like I could deeply relate to this and um, there were also moments that just got me so smiling when that when that older gentleman brought in another puppy to interact with and it was just it almost melted my heart you know I, I won't Scorsese Scorsese if you're watching this please don't stop making movies you are just like a total magician when it comes to these just 
what, what you've done to the history of cinema is just astonishing. It's, it's amazing. <laughs>